report, research is showing that this pandemic is having more impact on one gender over the other. Local 3's Connie Fellman has more. According to some experts, we're in the middle of the nation's first female recession. When it comes to equality, they say at least a decade of women's progress in the workforce has been wiped out by the pandemic. The COVID pandemic has led to an economic, mental health, and child care crisis. And now research is showing women are bearing the brunt of it. My hours were cut, so that was pretty stressful. It's been a hard adjustment getting back into the classroom. If I get COVID, I'll be out of work. Um, I don't have any savings. 11.5 million women lost their jobs compared to 9 million men. Some are calling it a she-session. But it's not just job loss that's impacting women more. Hi, mamas. Moms are also taking on more of the child care responsibilities. In fact, about one-third of working moms in two-parent households reported they were the only ones providing child care for their children. 80% of moms now say they're doing most or all of the housework and homeschooling. And 57% of moms now report depression and anxiety, compared to only one-third of dads. Experts say it's a complex problem that's going to take spouses working together, a shift in cultural expectations, and an end in gender stereotyping to solve. New research suggests women may be choosing to leave their jobs due to child care concerns or other challenges. One in four women reportedly said they were considering downsizing their careers or leaving the workforce as a result of the COVID crisis. And it's the first time in six years this study has found more women intending to leave their jobs than men. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.